Today we will discuss about division of fraction before we will start. So we will have our activity first. We will get the reciprocal. So magagamit natin ito mamaya sa pagsasolve natin ng division. When sinabi natin reciprocal, that means the kabaliktaran ng given. For example, we have 3 fourths. Ang reciprocal niyan is equal to 4 thirds. So, binaliktad lang. Ang denominator, ginawang numerator. Ang denominator, ginawang, uh, ang numerator, ginawang denominator. For example, we have a fraction. 4 and 1 half. Before mo siya i-reciprocate, you need to change that into improper first. So, magiging 9 over 2. And the reciprocal of that is 2 over 9. So, that is just the concept of what we call as reciprocal. So, pag sinabing multiply 1 half by its reciprocal, that means 1 half times 2 over 1. We will proceed to division of fraction. So, divide 3, 7 divided by 3, 5. So, this is a fraction and a fraction. How will you solve this one? How will you divide this one? So, change first this one. The or divisor. Change to reciprocal. So, Magiging 3, 7. Magiging 5, 3. Your operation mag will change also. So, it will become multiplication. After that, after that, you can multiply now. Numerator times numerator, that is 15. Denominator times denominator, denominator that is 21. So, divide natin. What is the common factor? That is 3. So, 15 divided by 3, that is 5. 21 divided by 3, that is 7. Or, you can use cancellation method here. Diba? Doon sa previous lesson natin, uh, you can use cancellation method or factorization method. So, I will use now fac uh, cancellation method. So, Dito tayo, 3 and 3. What is the common factor? That is 3. So, magiging 3 divided by 3, 1. 3 divided by 3, 1. So, magiging... Dito, wala na. 1 times 5, that is 5. 7 times 1, that is 7. So, they are equal. Equal lang sila, di ba? Okay, next example. Example number 1 ito. Okay. Okay. Next example, number 2, 12, 13, divided by 8 over 39. First, you will change to reciprocal. 12, 13, magiging multiply, 39 over 8. So, I will use the cancellation method para easy. So, 13 and 39. What is the common factor? That is 13, right? 13, 13. 13 divided by 13, that is 1. 13 divided by, uh, 39 divided by 13, that is 3. Here, with 12 and 8, so, common factor is 4. 8 divided by 4, that is 2. 12 divided by 4, that is 3. Now, multiply na tayo. 3 times 3, that is 9. 1 times 2, that is 2. So, this is a uh, improper fraction. So, what will you do? Divide. So, divide na 10. 9 divided by 2. Madali na lang yan. Uh, easy way, uh, easiest way to divide this one. 2, 4, 6, 8. So, that is 4, right? So, your denominator is always your denominator. 2 times 4. So, 8. So, ilan na lang na yung 1? 1. Kaysa mag-divide kayo, same pa rin. 
4, 8, 1. So, 1 is your numerator. 2 is your denominator. Easy na lang yan. Okay, number 3 example. That is 5 and 1 third. Or 5 divided by 1 third. So, this is whole number and a fraction. So, what will you do is, ganun pa rin. Change to uh, reciprocal before you will divide. So, 5 times na tayo, 3 over 1. Diba? Last previous in multiplying fraction, you can add 1 or put 1 in your denominator or just simply multiply 2 your numerator directly. 5 times 3, that is 15. So, copy the denominator. Or, this is equal to 15. Okay? Utin ko. Direct multiply to your numerator. Or, else, you can add 1 here. 5 times 3, that is 15. 1 times 1, that is 1. Or, that is 15. Okay, number 4 example. 16 divided by 2 and 1 fifth. So, this time, this is a whole number and a mixed fraction. So, what will you do is to change to reciprocal. So, nag-gamit tayo ng activity kanina, mixed fraction to reciprocal. How will you do that? Is to change first to improper fraction. So, magiging 16. Divided by 5 times 2 plus 1, that is 11 over 5. So, after that, nakuha nyo na yung improper fraction. Change, change to multiplication, your operation, then reciprocal. So, you can add 1 or direct multiply. 16 times 5, that is 80, divided by 11. After that, that is in proper fraction, we will uh, multiply this one. So, you can multiply directly. Ako, 7, 11, that is 77. So, 80 minus 77, that is 3. Oh, easiest way. Or kung mag-multiply kayo, pwede rin. Or mag-divide kayo. It's 3. Oh. Same lang sila. 3 is your numerator. 11 will be your denominator. Alright, number 5 example. 2 and 1 half divided by 1 and 1 fourth. So, this is a mixed fraction and a mixed fraction. So, before you will solve, change first the mixed fraction 2 improper fraction. 2 times 2, that is 4, plus 1, that is 5 halves. Divided by 4 times 1, that is 4, plus 1, that is 5. 4. So, after that, change to reciprocal. Okay? Kahanapin natin yung reciprocal of the divisor. 5 halves, change the Operation into multiplication, 4 halves. You can use directly numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Or you can use cancellation method or factorization method. It's up to you. So, normal method lang tayo. That is 12, 20. 2 times 5, that is 10. Or that is 2. 20 divided by 10 is 2. Number 6 example. Fraction and a fraction. So, 14 over 15 divided by 17 over 15. So, again, change to multiplication. Find the reciprocal. 15 over 17. So, can use cancellation method. Kanina. Number 5, normal method. Ngayon, cancellation method kasi mas madali. So, meron common factor. That is 15, ang common factor. So, 15 divided by 15, that is 1. 15 divided by 
15 that is 1. So dito kung meron ka mong factor, wala na kasi this is a prime number. So multiply that kagad. 14 times 1 that is 14. 1 times 17 that is 17. Number 7 example. A third divided by 12. So, I will solve that one. This is a fraction and a whole number. Kanina, dito yung whole number. Dito yung a fraction. But, here, dito naman yung whole number sa divisor. So, solve that one like this. A eight third change to change to or find the reciprocal of the 12. So, this is whole number. So, what is the reciprocal of the whole number? That is 1, 12. Kasi kapag ganito, you can add 1 here. So, find the reciprocal of 12. That is 1 over 12. So, you can multiply directly or we can use factorization. So, I will use factorization para iba-iba yung pa natin. 2 times 2 times 2. So, in factorization, you can use prime numbers. So, 1, that is 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2, that is 4 times 2, that is 8. 2 times 2, that is 4 times 3, that is 12. So, find the common. So, 2, ano pa? Ito, tsaka ito. Ito, tsaka ito. 2. So, meron siya ito. 2. Ito, tsaka ito. Tsaka ito. So, magiging 1 yan siya. Times 1. Times 2 third. Times 1 third. So, tayo 1. Times 1, times 2 third, times 1 third. So, kasi ganyan, 1 times 1, 1. So, times 1, two, uh, times 2 third, that is 2 third, times 1 third. 2 times 1, that is 2. 3 times 3, that is 9. So, that is your answer. 2, 9. Or, para madali, you can use... Cancellation method. Cancel, cancel. Common factor nila is 4. 8 divided by 4, that is 2. 12 divided by 4, that is 3. 2 times 1, that is 2. 3 times 3, that is 9. So, it's up to you what method you will use. So, that's all for today. I hope na... Marami kayang natutunan. So, for more videos, for more uh, lessons, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like, share, comment also, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Okay? So, ito yung mga activity na kailangan ng mga grade 6 students or even the lower grade. Meron na silang fractions eh. So, that's all. Thank you for watching.